previously on social media. Wee-woo! Wee-woo! Hot and spicy alert! Announcement time! Aww. Aww. Having, Having a, a baby. baby. My flashlight! My flashlight! Go, Dylan! Go! <laughs> Welcome, Dazzlers. How are you all doing? Welcome to another week, another week of my life. Last week was um, an outdoor one, just to break it up a bit. But this one is back to normal with some different bits in it. I've been doing a little bit of video in each day, different things to entertain you. And it's going to be in different categories, so time skips will be below. Um, mainly, you'll see the funny side of me at work. You'll see different, <laughs> a different side of me totally. Just keep watching for that one, please. <laughs> You'd be surprised how funny I can be, how humorous I, how humorous I can be during work. So yeah, keep your eyes open for that. Show you a bit about the click and collect we're doing, and uh, yeah. And, uh, just mainly more fun than anything else, as well as talk about mental health of the week and talking about some serious things as well. So, okay, that's what I've any further ado. Roll the video. Now, the big question is do I start off with something funny or something, or do I? Sp I might spread the funny stuff out. Good idea, Darren. Good thinking. Yes, that's what it's there for. So let's talk about the Canterbury shop, shall we? Okay, as you may or may not know, if you see my videos, you see now and again you'll see me videoing in Canterbury, mainly at Christmas or other times. Um, when I go to my dinner break to the little stream with the ducks and stuff like that. That's all filmed whilst I work in the Canterbury shop. But the Canterbury shop is to be closed. Uh, at the end of the month, a video of a few months ago to the video the other day when it was empty. So, so there you go. The strangest thing for me was looking back on old videos that I've done one, two, three, four years ago um, in the counter shop itself. Looking at the way I've changed, the way that um, I video, the way I do stuff, I've noticed my style is not so spontaneous it now seems to be more structured um, then it was like film this film this put this in put this in blah 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 willy nilly kind of thing so i don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing i look back thinking that was more interesting to watch than me sitting here doing this that's why this week's a bit different i also noticed the what change in my weight loss i mean two years ago my chin was like oh, and you know it's not so bad now. I've, I know I'm two years ago I was 18 stone, now I'm under 16 or just at 16 stone. So it stayed level for a few weeks actually. Even though it's wound a pandemic, you know. <laughs> you know. So yeah, so that's a Canterbury. I want to I'll, I'll do a separate video in a few weeks regarding more about that. Now let's go for something fun, shall we? Light in the mood, light in the mood. Now the other day, the other day. Some of the characters here are very amusing, very, some of the people are great to work with because you can have a good sense of humour. First of all, they're dressed up the mannequin to look like this. And then I tried the wig on, I tried the hat on. And hey, this is what you get, this is what you get. Me, humorous at work. I've got to do it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See yes. Oh my god. I'm wrong. No, doesn't see me. So there you go, I, 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 I've got a sense of humour. Almost four weeks till we hopefully open up again. April 12th, April 12th, sir. April 12th. And we are starting to do a click and collect where customers can't come into the shop, but they can virtually look online, see what we've got. So the past few weeks I've been 
photo photographing items, putting them on the, the online shop so people can see and buy. It's been okay so far. It's been not bad, you know. Not massively successful, but it's still new. It's still new. People are still learning about it. And whilst I was doing that, I had this puppet clown, I thought I'd just be a bit of a humorous moment <laughs> to lighten the mood again, you know, lighten up, but you know what it's like. Mental health. Because I don't know if you know, but every week I see like a therapist, which we call in America, in England, in America, England, um, a counsellor. So they call a therapist, there's different names, you know, shrink. And it's all to do with my mind, all to do with how uh, coping with my mental health, coping with the, trying to, when a, something triggers mental health, how to stop it faster, how to stop it progressing into anxiety. And of course, a few weeks ago I mentioned about the processes I've learned, you know, like the tree, the roots. Yeah, there's a, quite a few things to make your mind believe or work on to help you out of these situations. So it's still going okay. I, uh, I get, I had a day when, it, you may know that I'm hypersensitive, I'm a hypersensitive person, which is good but bad, because in a bad way that some days if someone whispers to me, it's like too loud. My bones just feel like they're vibrating, all the sound and stuff, and the skull and stuff, and it feels so numb, it feels like someone's twisting the words and twisting it louder and mucking about with a volume kind of control. And sometimes it's hard to talk to people. I feel physically sick talking to people, like the customers in the shops. It's not every day, it's once in a blue moon, but when it does happen, it's awful, it's horrible. I don't know if anyone out there experiences it. If you do comment, let me know. But that's the next step I want to try and solve, try and get that out of my mind, because that is, when it happens, it happens. It's hard to control. So I'm told that any of the voices you hear, don't give them labels, just let them just go to the distance. If you give them labels, they they help it help it stay in your mind longer and help you know if you label it, then it's not gonna go away so fast. If you don't label it, just let it flow and let it go with the flow. <laughs> then it's okay. I mean normally you hear things like wood in water and stuff like that and you don't think about it. It's like yeah, okay, water was so yeah you label it but it's forgotten about. But when it's hypersensitive uh, well, the water coming out of tap sounds like uh, Niagara Falls. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, but yeah, that's, that's my state of mental health. Right. You may also know that I'm a fan of the TV series Lucifer. And Tom Ellis, who's in it, he used to be in Miranda, TV series Miranda. Uh, three, the three series, you know, comedy, BBC, brilliant. Well, I, I watched three episodes of series one, and seeing Tom, Tom Ellis in there, then watching an episode of Lucifer, my mind can't physically calculate that's the same guy. It's like, okay, you've got a guy who's like a little chef who's been in a bar, and you've got Lucifer. It's like, it's hard, it's, it's hard for my brain to fathom out that it's the same guy. The acting is fantastic, and Lucifer, and it's like, okay. <laughs> It's just it's one of those baffling things, isn't it? It's going to baffle your brain. These things now and again, you know. But yeah, there you go. If you're a fan of, if you're a fan of Lucifer, watch Miranda and you see what you think. Comment below. It's on BBC I player, you know. Miranda, not Lucifer. Uh, update on the website. Um, I'm going to cancel my website. I know I've only had it about a month and a bit or maybe two months. It's not fees it's not physically <laughs> worth doing it because it's sixteen pound a month to keep it running. I'm not even earning that on YouTube. And it's just money going to waste. Um I'm getting like six views a week. So I think when I get maybe over ten thousand subscribers, I'll consider doing it again. Because 
you know, it's, it's, it's a good tool, it's a good tool to have. But £16 a month doesn't justify, you know, it's money coming out of my pocket, I'm not earning it. You know, it's just coming out of my pocket. Using the free version of Wix for the time being. Because Wix can do more, do far more, but it's more complex. Uh, it's like WordPress, I tried using that, but that's way too complex. Wix is like drag and drop, drag and drop and edit and stuff. So I might do a website, but it'll be like the, with the Wix header and, you know, it's a, you know, Darren Keenan, Wix.co.uk, blah, blah, and all that kind of stuff, you know, so it's not going to be my own domain name. It's going to be under the Wix. I've still got my domain name, downkin.co.uk, which I'm going to keep. That's only £16 a year, I don't mind that. <laughs> and yes, there was no video on Thursday. It's normally my random day because I've been too busy working on this vlog, editing the little cutscenes, the little bits of funny bits, little bits to add into it. So that's this is it's taken this has taken a, a week to film because I've been editing little bits. Filming during the day, coming back uh, after work, put my laptop on, all I've filmed, um, maybe I filmed about five or six minutes or something and cut it down to thirty seconds. I did it so it's quick, quick, quick. Just little bits to add in like the like the um, clown bit, the, the puppet clown and the um, the opening bit. Uh, I use CJ Frazier footage, you know, Zoe and Alfie. I tried to make it comical, like a meme, like a 30 second meme or something. And I tried to do that, you know. Let me know if it was successful, comment. But yeah. Yeah, you try these things, don't you? I mean, I thought that was quite good. It, it seemed to fit in place, like a little little movie. Meme movie. Meme movie, meme, 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 meme movie. Thank God it's not a meme movie. It's worth, worth having an emoji movie. So yeah, there's not much else to chat about. Um, the dog that's here, the sweet. Um, we've got a toy hand, <laughs> we will, like a zombie hand. Then I took a photo, here you go. <laughs> I looked before, it's quite comical. It's not a real hand, it's a toy hand, you know. Yeah, no, I've been not watching, I've not been watching much. I mean, apart from one Wonder Vision, um, final episode of that last week, that was good. Yeah, no. Yeah, we're still in lockdown, of course. Lockdown blues. Let's talk about lockdown, shall we? No. You can't believe it's been a year since the first, almost a year since the first lockdown. It's hard looking back because it's, at the time, during the first lockdown, it seemed to go really fast. But now thinking back, it's like, I can't remember much about it. I've got lots of videos when I was, <laughs> when I did the series, lockdown series, you know. Then we had the second lockdown, the third little lockdown, and thought oh, this is the third lockdown. So, yeah, this is weird. I can't believe it's been a year. But look how we progressed in the year. This time last year, just as we were coming to lockdown, we didn't know when there'll be a vaccine. We didn't know much about how it spreads. We didn't know. There's a lot we didn't know. But now, after a year later, there's a vaccine. There's about three or four different vaccines. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, the year in the, I mean, there's progress so much. I mean, I'm so proud that we've actually got this far. I mean, it's upsetting that we lost thousands of people, lots of people through this COVID and my heart goes out to all the families. But yeah, it's progression is so fast. And I know we, people give the Prime Minister a hard time. We give all that, you know, so oh, we, you did it wrong. But how, how, was, how are we supposed to be trained for this if we never experienced it before? Some things you have to learn by experience. Some things you have to learn. I know we had the Spanish flu in 1919, a year, 100 years before that. And before that. Every 100 years has something to kick up a fuss, kick up a storm. But life's okay, life's good. I mean, I'm looking forward to getting back to opening the shop up and seeing the customers again and, you know, back to some kind of normality. I know it'll be total normality, it never is, is it really? Uh, be a long time yet before we get to normal, no, 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 normal normality. So, yeah. Okay, so I think that's it for this week, really. 
next week is going to be the same. I'm going to try and video what I can, make some funny bits, make some blah, blah, blah. Try and see what I can film for the week, just to add some lightheartedness and some humour into these videos. I know that I don't sound, you know, when I talk, it's like, you know, I don't sound so enthusiastic, but I am. <laughs> and I hope these little clips I put in there show you my true self, show me how daft I can be and silly I can be. And I want to portray this on here, but I need people to bounce off. I need the humour to bounce off people. I could do the thing where I talk to myself, you know, different characters, but <laughs> it's not the same, it's still me. You know, I wish I had people I could chat, I could talk to with this YouTube and so you, you see more human side of me. But anyway, I'll get there. I promise you I'll get there. Okay, so two little pips for now, I'm afraid. And you'll see me next time, if you want to. If you do, subscribe, comment, let me know below. And two little pips. Stay safe.